Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. As always, time marks for every story are down below for all of you. Please leave a comment on this video. I'll try and reply to the first 50 comments. And thank you all for the great support on this last video or the last few videos. You guys have been absolutely amazing. So first big news for all of you guys, just a couple hours ago, Sparkles uploaded his newest video and it was him donating $6,000 to the Twitch CSGO streamer Loop. I'll link that full video down below for all of you and I highly encourage you guys to go watch that. Now why he actually went through this donation, he was actually partnered up with CSGO Roll and decided to donate $6,000 to get denture surgery for Loop. Now, if you guys do not know, Loop's story went viral these past few weeks after his ESCA bullying story was covered on this channel as well as Reddit and other forums. He actually was bullied on ESCA and then obviously the community backed him up so much and as actually if you go through his donation description on his Twitch live stream, as many of you guys know, he's partially blind, he's partially deaf, has part of his nose removed and only has three teeth in his mouth and so his denture surgery to get dentures in his mouth would actually cost around $6,000 and so Sparkles along with CSGO Roll, although it's a gambling website, still a very generous one at that, decided to donate $6,000 to him live on live stream. So I'll show you guys screenshots of that and that was absolutely amazing to see. The, the absolute generosity in the community is so cool to see. So again, that video will be down below for all of you. Now, even more importantly, for our second story, guys, a Valve Time worker actually released an unpublished CSGO map. Now, this CSGO map was originally actually published with Xbox's version of Counter-Strike. It's actually a map called Balkan. I'll show you guys screenshots on screen. Actually, I'm going to flash through them really fast for all of you. And the last screenshot right here actually reminded me of a Zombies map, a Black Ops 2 Zombie map. I don't play zombies too often. My roommates do and some friends do as well. It reminds me of the Black Ops 2 map town. And if you guys remember the bar in that, I'll show you the screenshot on the screen right now. The first floor of this looks very, very convenient and actually very similar across those. So that was really cool to see. Hopefully Balkan comes sometime soon to the actual CSGO we're playing right now. But that'd be really cool to see in the map pool. But that was an unpublished CSGO map that other games have actually seen before, but we've never seen on the actual game of CSGO. Now talking about that, bouncing off very shortly, guys, I did get the chance to talk to Uletical. Uletical is actually one of those guys and a dear friend of mine, him and his wife, actually own one of the best workshop maps, the best workshop aim map down below. I'll link that for all of you guys, as well as his Twitter. We got into touch with him just yesterday about the whole community server issue. Many of you guys know, as of 24 hours ago, a lot of community servers, aim maps, 1v1, surf servers, deathmatch servers, were all down because of the latest CSGO update. They have now patched that, guys. It does seem, as of right now, most of those community servers are back and live, and we were correct. Uletical did confirm this for us, guys. All those servers had to do was change their source mods and possibly their meta mods and update those and for all of you guys to play those. So as of right now, if you guys want to go surf 1v1 on your regular community servers, they all as of right now should be actually fixed. And thank you to Uletical for reaching out to me. I'll link his Twitter down below for all of you guys. A great guy for all of you to follow. And now on to our fourth story. One of the bigger stories for all of you guys, I do want to mention my newest partnership with Zen Gaming. Now, it's not a paid partnership. I just love these guys. I got in touch with them in the past few months or so. There are three to four guys that actually started Zen Gaming, which is pretty much a social media site for all of you CSGO, League of Legends, and Esports players in general. I'm going to link them down below and I hope you guys all go sign up because they have now officially announced their season two of their CSGO 1v1 tournament. This actually first ended just a couple weeks ago. It was a $2,000 cash prizes in total for that first season. It went great. They're slowly working on more anti-cheats. So for all of you guys who want to participate in a 1v1 tournament for possible cash prizes, I want you guys to go sign up for their website down below. I'm not getting paid for this. They're just a great website. I signed up as well. It's just really fun to go and post over there and make potential new friends. If you first have to sign up for the website and then you can actually sign up for the CSGO tournament. So this is season two of the 1v1 tournament. Even if you guys don't want to participate in the 1v1 tournament, their website is also great. You sign up, you can earn free coins towards CSGO skins. So I hope you guys all do that. Again, they're great owners and I will link all that down below for you guys in the description. And thank you to everyone who does sign up. I'm actually signed up on there and hopefully you can follow each other on Zen Gaming. So Thanks to them, they were really nice. And a little bit of a drama story for all of you guys. Classic JW, many of you guys know the Fnatic player, always kind of joking around. So I do want to stress right now, guys, it probably was a joke. They were actually playing a good old face it match just yesterday. JW was with Zan Tears on his on his stream as well and on his team for the most of the stream. And kind of ironically enough, for the majority of the stream as well, Zan Tears was actually the team's top fragger. So I do want you guys to know as of right now, it's probably a joke, but it was kind of a serious joke in the fact that JW did call out space soldiers. I'll play the clip for all of you guys, but it does seem as of right now, kind of sum it up for all of you. He was pretty much making fun and actually speaking a little bit of Turkish here as well. He was making fun of them for having all five players in a gaming house and still sucking. Although those weren't exact, the exact words he used. But here's a clip of that, guys. Just a little kind of not really drama, but a fun story for all of you. Who is living in the gaming house, Karadesh? My team. Everyone? Yeah. All five all the time? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you're still shit? <laughs> <laughs> Kiddy Kardesh! 
not kidding. And lastly, some old CSGO news for all of you guys. Wrapping up on this, Heroic did change their logo a couple days ago, unfortunately enough, because I love their old logo. I'll show you guys their old logo on the screen right now, as well as their new logo right now. And partially why they did change this, they also announced their newest sponsorship, a Danish betting website known as e -Odd Set. So unfortunately enough, their new logo is actually still really cool. I just never really understood why they had to change it. Both their logos so far have been so cool, and you guys have actually been sending in fan art to that Heroic.gg, their Twitter page, and actually making it look really cool. So Heroic has officially changed their, their actual sponsor, as well as the new logo. It does still look cool. I'm not really sure why they changed it, but again, you can't really blame them going forward. It looks really cool on Madi here as well. So hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of CSK News. Thank you all for the great support as of late, especially in the comment section. You guys are commenting so much. I am really sorry. I can't really reply to too many comments. I do have free time today though. So here's a quick thing. I know I mentioned it earlier for all of you. Please leave a comment on today's video. If you guys want me to reply, I'll try and reply to a couple hundred of them, at least a hundred of them for all of you. So thank you all for the great support. As always, live, love, laugh a lot. Remember, I like you. I have some great freaking videos plan sometime soon for all of you because I have one week left of school. That is it. And then I'm off to summer full-time YouTube and live streaming. Live streaming, I'm also coming back very shortly. So, surprise.